guys. Bulletproof. We're uh, going to have some fun with the uh, P38. Uh, what is this? The LO? Yeah, L5, LO. Um, this is kind of a more of a. Uh, I don't want to say reset. I'm not going to have it on for a while, but I just really haven't played it very much. I love P38s, and this is the highest tier P38. So I kind of want to get some unlocks for it. So unfortunately, I don't have any bombs or rockets yet. Um, but uh, we'll at least uh, hit some air targets. Um, I love the P-38 for the fact that like you have all of the cannons and machine guns right in the nose, which means that anything that you hit on the air, any air, any aircraft, whatever you're targeting, uh, is going to be very concentrated. You don't have this convergence uh, problem that you do with any of the uh, aircraft that have guns in the wings. Um, and you have a lot more firepower than something like a uh, BF-109. So if you really get a any bit of a sustained hit on anywhere on an aircraft, generally speaking, it's going to go down, unless it's a bomber. Uh, but even that is going to cause some pretty good damage. Um, so uh, the other thing you have to be careful of is obviously this is kind of a big aircraft. Um, so I, you have to be careful of the fact that it's very easily recognizable. So um, people are going to know that you're an enemy from a long way off. Uh, you know, it's also a little bit more heavy, but uh, it, it still is very maneuverable for its size. It just doesn't roll quite as fast as some other things will. Um, and you'll be able to feel just the fact that it doesn't respond quite as fast in the roll as a smaller single engine will. Um, but it also does have uh, very good engine power. So, pretty nasty in a turn. So we have any Germans up to, to tango with. I'm hoping we do for the amount of people that are in this game. I'm basically on bomber protection duty here. Is that something? No, it's a train. As our tanks start getting some kills too, we'll get more uh, aircraft popping up. Also look for some of the uh, open tops if there's any Nash horns or another form nearby. Strafe. I hear the engine sound, I always go straight to my mini-map because that, I can hear the engine sound that well, um, that he's close enough for me to be able to uh, see him if he's a friendly on the map. Um, so I might as well do that for identification. Faster, more reliable. I said, it, with these guns so tight, especially even at that range, um, it lets me get a nice concentrated burst. But my size is not going to help me here. Avoid this guy. I'm going to have to get some speed. Get around.
ね。Expect to be stalling out right there. As I said, very concentrated burst. Another kill for the LO. Gunner shooting at me. I, say, I thought those were uh, Iron Crosses there. Alright, so I guess the uh, mini map uh, method isn't always 100%. We'll get some uh, distance, get some speed on him. I want to hit him in a turn here because that's going to mostly negate his gunner and it's also going to be a nice big target to shoot at. Looks like he's trying to force me to shoot on his butt. Spitfires are obviously extremely effective against those types of aircraft. They can do a lot of damage. Spitfire. The problem with so many aircraft on our team is that we've got a little bit harder identification. So many things to keep track of. I might end up looking to see if somebody's a friendly multiple times. This looks like a mosquito. Uh, that's a Peshka, maybe. The right side of the warble wind is that we can penetrate him. As long as he's shooting somebody else. Generally speaking, when they're good shots, you want to kind of give them a little bit of a berth. Unless you can see them actively not looking at you. Shooting at somebody else. Generally best left alone.
by being just close enough to him that he's shooting me, but not really able to get any good shots on me, it will also tell my tanks where he is, and then you can always count on somebody to not pass up a perfectly good kill. As I said, you want to get a little bit more evasive coming out of that. That was kind of uh, dumb staying back. Uh, that's stagnant. Alright, let's see what we can do. I'm taking the uh, Hellcat just because it's later in the game. It gets me some speed that I can get into the battle and do something. That Super Sherman is going to basically be a little bit too slow for my liking. Also note that I uh, take less than full ammo. Of course, uh, it uh, reduces your risk of having a uh, ammo explosion and not being full. Wasting long range ammo. Not really long range ammo, but ammo at long range, and I'm not likely to get a hit until I shoot a number of shells and get them ranged in. is finding things that don't belong. Somebody that is not moving like a bot, somebody that's not in a normal bot tank. Something like that. Looks like a M26. in your uh, aim while moving too. It's all about timing. Oh, of course I'd shoot right after it finishes sitting on his tank. Low again.
share off the ground into him. deal with some of the pesky pinks off my uh, tank. They rarely ever penetrate, but I can still make some annoying they'll light you up for players to see just fine. Pretty sure that's a friendly. Of course, uh, as we saw before, it's also possible that oh, it is just raining Ju 87s. Uh, it is possible that somebody just puts on uh, Russian markings after the fact. Not, but definitely a friendly. It's up on my uh, mini map. Panther, or tiger, or a live one? Definitely not alive. Anybody? That, on the other hand, hopefully he comes back around for a strafe run. I may have gotten that guy with the tank gun. Hell yeah. Oh, come on, dude. Throw up. <laughs> 